Manchester United are still interested in bringing Harry Kane to Old Trafford this summer. Manchester United would be forced to smash their existing wage structure in order to pull off a successful move for Harry Kane this summer, according to reports. Kane has just entered the final year of his contract at Tottenham and is said to have no intention of signing a new one, which has opened the door for a potential sale over the next few weeks. United are reported to have inquired about a move for Kane earlier this summer but were said to have balked after being informed how much a deal would cost them. Bayern Munich, meanwhile, have already seen two bids rejected by Tottenham, who are still hoping to tie Kane down to a new contract in order to ward off any interested parties. Kane would be looking to become the Premier League's highest paid player if he joins United, according to The Sun. With the England skipper demanding a weekly wage of around £577,000, it is said that the Red Devils would need to smash their current wage structure to meet Kane's salary requirements, which would see him pocket more than any United player in history. United previously identified Kane as their top target in attack before cooling their interest when it became apparent that Tottenham were not looking to cash in on their prized asset this summer. The situation now appears to have changed somewhat, though, with Spurs chairman Daniel Levy being told by owner Joe Lewis that Kane must be sold if he decides against signing a new deal at Hotspur Way. That's according to The Telegraph, who are reporting that Lewis is not prepared to let Kane run down his contract and leave Tottenham as a free agent next summer. United are still believed to be interested in a move for Kane but Ten Hag is said to be reluctant to have one player earning considerably more than any of his teammates. Which suggests that United may not be willing to meet Kane's demands in full. United will also need to generate any potential transfer fee by selling players due to financial fair play restrictions, with the club having already spent close to £100 million in the market this summer. It remains to be seen how the situation regarding Kane will develop over the coming weeks, although United are said to have other irons in the fire if a move for the 29-year-old is ultimately deemed too expensive. Atalanta forward Rasmus Hoyland is also thought to be a target and has reportedly agreed personal terms with the Red Devils, who are yet to open the bidding at club level as things stand. Napoli marksman Victor Osimen is another player to have been linked with United in recent weeks but is likely to command an even higher transfer fee than Kane, with the Italian giants unwilling to sell him for anything less than nine figures. Kane, meanwhile, was recently warned by Arsenal icon Paul Merson that he would risk prolonging his wait to win a major trophy if he swaps Tottenham for United this summer. He has to leave Tottenham now, otherwise he's never leaving because Man City have got Erling Haaland and United and Chelsea need to buy a centre-forward this summer, Merson told Sky Sports last month. So, by the time Kane is a free transfer at the end of next season, everyone will have a striker. I don't see him leaving Tottenham. People say he has to win trophies, the only place he can guarantee winning them is at Manchester City. If he goes to Manchester United they could easily win nothing next season.